The second game in two days here at the International Stadium, Yokohama. An all Six Nations affair. An island almost from the very word go were in control. And their forwards in particular dominated this game. James Ryan, their second row, who doesn't really know how to lose. Scorer of the first try. Yeah, it was a start that Ireland were really wanting, really looking forward to. If Ireland get the noses in front, they're very difficult to claw back. And the bench liked that one. This is a second try, an excellent mall try. Scotland initially defended it pretty well, pushing it towards the touchline, but the power comes on, the unity, the cohesion driving through. Then even when the mall splits, Rory Best has the ability on his back to still get the ball down under pressure from Ryan Wilson. And that was a second try. Quick succession for the men in green, and it gave them a really strong foothold in this fixture. Great athletic ability, almost a bit of ballet from Rory Best. CJ Stander, one reason why he was the player of the match from a standing start. Such explosive power. And more to come from the front row union this time. Ty Byrne. Two Scotsmen, can't stop him. Yeah, it's structured, isn't it? You know exactly what they're doing off the back of this scrum. CJ Stander running hard. Ryan in the corner and then Furlong getting himself out the front row to offer himself for that bullock and run over. And this is the second half. He tried wonderful box hit from Conor Murray. Well challenged by Conway. He jumps to his feet as Jordan Lammer takes it forward. And then Conor Murray, it was him that gave the pass to Andrew Conway. Really good finish in the corner from Conway. He knew where the space was. The Scottish defence filtered in to break down. He went out to the space and got his reward. Ryan Wilson can't catch that one. It's very difficult in these soaking conditions. But Andrew Conway with the finish. Grant Gilchrist can only hang his head in disappointment. As it was for the entire Scottish team, Ireland triumphant.